balmy 32 degrees out here. We'll probably be swimming by the end of the day because we're going to be so warm. Yeah, all your stuff will be in my backpack. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's supposed to heat up to 54 degrees today or something like that. Partly sunny. It's nice and froggy right now. All right, let's take a look at what I brought today. So I have dueling E6X 1143s today. I busted out the brand new one. So both these rods are identical. One of them set up with a sweet pink cherry bead. One of them set up with a spoon. One of my buddies, Jim, has been getting into them with spoons. So I'm, I'm gonna be trying a spoon today. Got a 14 millimeter sweet pink cherry on there. And you have a jig tight on one of your rods? Yeah. Pink and white it looked like. For now anyway. And then I'll you got a on. sweet pink cherry on the other one. John's the mule today. Yeah. I have the net, he has the backpack. What else do you need me to put in? Here just this. You? Will that fit? Wait. I think I can just do this number. Like a pure bucket. It's funny that this this backpack is probably like probably worth something because it's so old. I remember you had this like how many years ago? Actually, I don't even know if that's gonna hold. Oh wait, here's what I'll do. I've got this at GI Joe. <laughs> GI Joe. It looks like it. <laughs> how long has GI Joe's been out? I don't know. Here we go. This thing's been dead. Mexico, Costa Rica, Hawaii, Canada. Canada. Chilliwack? Chilliwack. Well, I'm glad you remembered that and not the cooler. He left our cooler in Canada. Yeah, dueling 1143s. I've been... Are those fish... nine and a half? Yeah, they're both nine and a half. The 1145 is what I've been using for bead rod. But because the river's a little bit lower, I decided to go with the 1143, which is a great kind of all-around rod. I also put 20-pound test on this one. It used to, or my bead rod has 30-pound test because it's a heavier power. Ooh, look at this. I mean, it's low, but man, it looks good. I'm gonna have John catch the first one. You gotta catch the first one, okay? Right. Yeah, just hammer him with the sweet pink cherry. You'll hook one up. It's that simple. This is a number two blood rain skeiner. I'm gonna give John a few casts. What are you fishing for frogs? No. I was just trying to hit the inside. But I went too inside. Looks like we're having toad for dinner. You hung up already? Huh, start the blooper reel. Come on, sweet pink cherry. Got super slick moonshine on here. 20 pound test. And that stuff is bright. Okay, last cast in this hole. This actually feels pretty good with a spin. Well, that wasn't gonna catch anything. It's balmy, getting hot. Yeah, me too. Wait, my finger. Finally, or not, I can feel the end of it. Wait. 
We've got 15 bucks floating around in this backwater in front of us. Just trying to decide if we want to go down there and collect them or just keep moving. Of course, we're not going to get to them right there. No. Well, you could go risk your life for 15. It's like triple <laughs> what you risked it for last time. <laughs> All right, we've reached 187 yards stillhead spot. This is where John's going to catch one. Oh, it's slow though. I'm gonna ask John, because I know he doesn't watch Rage Fishing very much. I'm gonna ask him where he thinks I hooked that fish. And I'm gonna see if he's right. Okay, John. We're gonna do a little test of your steelhead knowledge. I've hooked three steelhead in this hole. Tell me where they were. They're right up there. Good job. I saw that one. <laughs> Dad's tying John's leader on. Thanks, Dad. I'm telling you. This is, that actually might be a 12. But that's okay. I think it'll work. Maybe we can go to Dairy Queen after this. <laughs> Maybe the park. You could swing. <laughs> All right, kid. Let's get you squared away on your camera. <laughs> All right, John's going to hook one. Here he goes. You get the first five casts. Don't do that. <laughs> Last time we did that, I had to... You, well, we you named the hole after it. Yeah. We don't want this one named after it, too. All right. I'm going to give you the first several casts. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> you just put pressure on me okay. by saying so no get pressure. Up, get up in here a ways. Be real stealthy because it's pretty clear. Got it, kid. up in some of this water and so there's definitely some more holy water in this strip right here. I would say run it maybe about. I'm running it shallower than that. Yeah, probably three feet, you think? I'm gonna go check out this water you were just fishing. Because I've never seen it at this river level. Gotta get the 
this a shot. It looks pretty good. Kind of at the head of this hole right here. It's pretty fast and turbulent. I have fished it. it. Seems like I just lost a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, it's really deep. I remember right, like right in front of me. Alright, let's see what happens. And see what I told you? Well, I got my weight back. That's good. That's the rest of it. Let's use something else. Let's do a DRO. I'm gonna do wizard hex. Wizard hex 14. my reel. Holy sh Look at this berry laying on the ground. You alright? Dude. Oh god. Holy crap. That's a brand new Vanford. Shoot. Besides a reel, are you all right? Huh? Besides a reel, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, I have a parts reel now. Damn. All I heard was a... I hit that. I hit that rock. And, I mean, my foot went and there was no stopping it. Well, and... I heard this good. Huh. Okay. Well, crap. You want to try to just reel it in off of that? Huh? I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to go grab my other rod. I'm going to set that up. Um, I'm going to put that spool on my other van. That sucks. That's a real brand new. That's what you call a fail. That's an epic fail. I'm just lucky I'm okay. This rod. That thing broke like a $3 reel. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap spools and just put this, re this reel on that rod and just reel it up and it'll be done. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Take that. God, that sucks. I, I'm not kidding you. That's the second trip with that reel. 260 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying to myself, that thing broke like a $3 reel. <laughs> yeah, it did. So watch this, kids. This could be a goat rope right here. That's uh, what I'm gonna do right now? Yeah. No, it's not. It's gonna be money. You're gonna go, God, you're clever. Oh man, you're so smart. Okay. 
Help me out by holding that. Oh, actually, I need to take that off. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. You I'm want gonna, this, right? I'm gonna have to pet that anyway. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I can't fish with it. At least you didn't break two of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Vanford. I wonder if I send that into Shimano if at least they'll chart just charge me to get me a new body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just replace the rest of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the broken rail. You know what though, I'm gonna dip the, it's all muddy. Well, at least you didn't break your thumb. Oh my God, I am, as mad as I am about losing a reel, it, I thought, gosh, I'm just so fortunate I didn't get hurt, because I hit hard. Yeah, I saw you laying over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold that a second. Okay. Alright, let's see if this works. Float's still out there. Maybe I'll just float this out and catch a steelhead on it. Don't get sassy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up here. You only have that one reel, so I wouldn't get too cocky. Oh, I have another reel if things get bad. Hey, John, can I use your fishing pole? Is that Zemco? The oh. pocket fisherman? Yeah. Okay, see that? And then I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> that stinks. How many times you've been out though and not broke anything? So. Never. I've never broke a reel. I've only broke one rod. Me too, and that was in your door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I broke a reel, you broke a rod. I'll just hold it like this. Yeah, that's ugly. Huh, kids? Don't screw around on the rocks or you'll look like this. So, John will end up putting that in his backpack. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you changed out the sweet pink cherry, huh? Yeah, yeah this is a Wizard Hex um, Dylan Rush Outfitters. A what? It's by Dylan Rush Outfitters, DRO. Have you seen Dro, D-R-O? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a hex bead. It kind of has flat sides on it. Little Jacob swears by this. I wonder what the premise is behind it. The theory is, is that the flat sides will reflect light a little better than, obviously a circle does not really reflect light. Right. Well, I hope we catch some fish today so I can show off the great things. I can't believe you did that. I got you on video laying there though. <laughs> oh God. You were just laying there like you're afraid to get up. Well, I was mainly laying there looking at my rod going, uh, or my reel going, why does it feel like my reel's not on my rod anymore? But how could that happen? Well, because it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, did it come untwisted? How did my reel come off? Oh, it doesn't have a handle anymore. <laughs> what color bead is that? It's called Wizard Hex. It's kind of an orange. 
but it has a little bit of a pink sheen to it. I hooked one on this river with this color before. Oh. And there it is. God dang it. Nice. <laughs>
forget this is my lighter rod too. I don't have my meat pole with me. Are you ready, kid? Yep. That fish isn't. I don't think so. It's like, nope. Broodstock fish. I don't give up that easy, guys. Oh, boulder, boulders coming your way. I've got it. Could do the old loosen the drag trick and reel. Okay, it's coming your way. Don't want that thing to come unbuttoned and hook me in the face. Okay, here we go. No, it didn't. It ain't ready, Barry. It's almost ready. Okay, here it comes. Okay, maybe not. I just don't want to do the island trick. Oh my god, that's a good fish. Look at that fish. Your fishing license? Oh, it's hung up. Where's the hook, brother? That's still, that's still. Figure out where the hook is at. Sure, I got this. Oh, look at the head on that thing. Oh, the hook is. I can't even see the hook. Oh, it's right on the roof of its mouth. Here. I'm gonna cut the line. It's bleeding a little bit. I'm not gonna try to take that hook out now. No. Okay, do you got your fishing license? Yep. Yeah, he started to bleed a little bit, and I thought I'm not going to try to take that. No, out. just and leave I take it. That out and probably start bleeding even worse. Whew. Yeah, that's a goodie. I guess I deserved it. As the two, I'll call it the two hundred and sixty dollar fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's insane. Yeah, it's just kind of frustrating, you know. I float all kinds of crap through there. I know. As did I. Right there, buddy. Wizard Hacks DRO. Huh. There you go, Jacob. Thank you. Shout out to little Jacob. It's all about the Wizard Hacks. <laughs> well, let's let the hole rest a minute. There might be a hen in there. If you want, I'll tie you on a Wizard Hacks. Because my arm's sore. <laughs> Where's Dixie? Uh, <laughs> you <hit> my ass. Oh, what a wimp. So I know that this looks like a cluster, but in theory, you should just be able to take this off, just the silver carabiner, and you have this all of this. 
See what I mean? And then you can clip this to oh, something on you. Right. For the future reference. Yeah, I've got this carabiner on my belt for my net. Oh, okay. Okay, let's, uh, we have to re-up batteries, retie, and we'll get back in there. Have a little snack. Yaro! <laughs> Wizard Hex! <laughs> again. Alright, let's see John hook another one in here. Okay, John's got the wizard hex on. That had to have been bottom. That was a bottom fish. Well, I'm gonna be a little lighter walking out of here. <laughs> it's kind of a sad day. So just to be clear, this rod is the one that had the reel on it that busted. The rod's fine. Surprisingly, it doesn't have a scratch on it. Not that I can see anyway. What's so funny? Looking, looking down there. <laughs> well, you know, I I have to admit, I laid there for a second, not so much about me hurting. You know, because I did kind of land like on the side of my knee, but I'm, I'm, I was still in disbelief that like, why is my reel not on my rod anymore? Oh, it's going to be hilarious. And then when you stayed there, I was, I was thinking, Maybe he's hurt. Maybe I shouldn't laugh until I know he's okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to say, are you okay? Yeah. And then laugh. Yeah. It sounds like you're reversing it. <laughs> I was laughing first. Well, I mean, you knew I wasn't dead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd be mad at you. The old Michael Douglas hole. <laughs> Well, I thought you were going again. Yeah, I kept thinking, okay, if I fall in, chest clip right here. Get out of this backpack. No way, man, my reel's in there. <laughs> well, that was dicey. Here's where it's gonna happen, buddy. That meth, that meth jelly is going to work one up for you. I'm trying to think of where I cooked that fish. It was more on that side, I remember. Run that nightmare jig through here. Run that nightmare jig through here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Just come stand here. I'll swap places. I don't want to retie everything. 
Man, this is a mystery. Some of this water just looks incredible. Like this spot, yeah. it's freaking money. Go deep, go about six feet. You think? Oh God, John has one on. Sweetie. He's great with jigs. I'm glad I had him. Oh, some mergansers flew by too. I lost my net. Where do you think we can land it? Okay, I'll sneak in here. My camera is done. Oh, it is? Yeah. Did it? Yours is just done too. It's still running, but I was picking you up with the other camera. That should still be on. Okay, there's a root wad right here. Have you seen it? Uh-huh. Right. That looks good. Not very big. That's okay. In your in your famous words. That's okay. Almost, almost. Oh. Couldn't tell if it was a hatchery or not. Take your time. Did your battery die before you hooked it? Darn. You just don't want to get it on the roof. On this, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just stay where you're at. We almost had him right there. We almost had him right there. I think we can get him here. One more good swoop over this way. You can see it. So here we go. Almost, almost. It's a, it's a native. whenever you're ready to let her go. Redemption finally. So I'm gonna go over this 
John's fish real quick. So lots went wrong. One, his camera died right before the hookup, but fortunately the camera I'm talking to you on was recording and picked up the hook set, but then it died. I get down here with my camera still running, but it was on fumes, and it dies after I net the fish. So four hours later, those three floats are still milling around right there. Let's see, what do you got? You got a chubby, you got a clear drift, or like a Bomac that's got a red top, and then it looks like, no, it's two, it looks like two of the clear floats. Yeah, you're giving me the creepy crawlies now. Yeah, yeah, that makes me nervous. And I'm gonna be sore. Not only is my arm sore from tennis elbow, but I ate it. What's a, what's a fishing trip without one of us falling down? If we make it to 80, just think how many times we're going to be falling down. <laughs> there was a couple ODFW guys that just stopped and said that they only counted seven steelhead today on the survey. Snorkel. But that was way up high. That's crazy though. I'm glad that we caught anything. All right, do you have any funny parting comments? Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're Nothing out of here. that's G rated. Okay, we're out of here. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. That's my closing line.